For the past 44 years, something's been happening in Bowman County. The Class B run dominated by Bowman County. The Bulldogs did what they set out to do, challenging themselves with a target on their back and welcoming the challenge for another year to come. Hello, my name is Noah Nace. I'm a junior from Bowman County School, and this is my third year running cross country. Hello, my name is Taylor Wander, and I am a, going to be a senior this year at Bowman County. This is my sixth year of cross country, and I've been running since 2019. I'm Jonah Nace. I'm a junior at Bowman County High School, and I have been running cross country for, this will be five years. It's safe to say that there's a dynasty being built. With the Bowman County Success is a massive part of the team's culture. Some help from the man upstairs who can get a lot of things done. Bulldogs win by nearly a hundred points. Almost a perfect score. They were excited to get to that top of that mountain and um, they're just excited to try to stay there. The spotlight on the Bowman County Cross Country Program. I can't believe that we're actually making this documentary. This is something that I felt like we were talking about, but I didn't know if it would actually happen. Like, it was always just like an idea that we were talking about, mostly like me, Noah, and Jonah. And we really wanted to do it, but we weren't sure if like it's even possible. And I still don't know if it's possible. Um, I'll also be the main editor, main and only editor here for the documentary. So let's see how it goes. Like, we got too far behind. Don't get mad, please. Uh, the season is probably more important. Good morning. It is day one, summer training. About to go to get ready for treadmill. It's really early in the morning, but that's okay. Ready to hit this? And good morning. <sighs> About to be almost late for the treadmill. That's all right. That's normally how I roll, which isn't a good thing, but I guess it is what it is. Oh, I can't wait for the summer training. I'm gonna be so hype. Let's get it. Morning. Luca, Luca lost. Why are we here? It was the door. It was the door. <laughs> the door was open. Well, it's not good. Oh, the window's coming. Oh, pretty good. I was. I wasn't as tired as I thought I'd be when I woke up. I wasn't not ready for this in the last night though. Yeah, no, I was worried since I had left like 1.30 yesterday for the wedding. No, I had to hit my alarm like six times. <laughs> I got up. Morning, Warner. Morning. Morning, Thomas. <laughs> I said I, I said I wasn't made for the football life. Should have seen those meds there. And 
like Redfield like a match? Is that what it's called a match? Yeah. Do you think how many people think you could switch? Alright, go. One minute, I've got to slow. What do you mean? No, I got it yet. It's not a little bit last night, but yeah. That would be a little better series, but I don't think it's gonna be. Celtics are good. finished up with work and now I gotta get my easy run in. First run of the summer, it's gonna be a big, big one mile. So yeah, I gonna get warmed up for that. Okay, okay, okay. I'm about to have a good day. Good day. Good day. No matter what they say. I guess it's nothing else to it. You gotta start summer training. Start last season. This is crazy. Guess it's time to go. I remember back when I was low as a rug. Now I'm standing up, look at what my father does. And that's one mile done. Now do some stretching out and probably do a little core routine. Yeah, gosh, first day's already done. It's crazy. It's already been here. It's also crazy that other than this morning, I've not ran a step since my state 800. So yeah, getting back into it. Hopefully not too out of shape. Gosh. I'm so ready. This is gonna be great. Got Elliot Kipchoge's modified core routine coming up. I love to do this early in the season to really just build some foundational strength. Ready to sing and praise. I'm about to have a good day in every single way. God made the universe. Knows me by my name, so it's a good day. Baby in my arms, walking through the neighborhood. Living in the present, I would've 
shoulda or could I remember back when I was low as a rug Now I'm standing up, look at what my father does Turning on things new, gray skies blue Hear the church say, won't he do it? I know he's got my back That's why I'm singing that I'm about to have a good day Now I'm gonna do some Shin work Just to prevent some injuries Match that with some calf raises. Starting off in 2019, is there anything that sticks out from that year? Remembering back? Talk about Newtown. Is that the year we lost? Yep. It was a huge year for us. Um, 2019 was a year that uh, we, we lost a state meet to a really good Newtown team. But that was the year that really gave us supreme confidence in the fact that we can run with anybody. 2019 was my seventh grade year in cross country. It was a pretty good year. I was just learning. I've been around cross country, so I wasn't totally clueless. I had an older brother and I had older cousins. But I didn't really understand like the work that it took to put in. And as my seventh grade season progressed, I was pretty good. I was running in the high 17s. I think I got to around 1740 in the season. And I was scoring on our team. And when we got to regionals, I knew completely well of the big bad of Newtown, of how we could never beat them. Newtown had beaten us down for, for years and years and years. And we kept getting closer and closer. Um, the 2019 West Region Championships we actually beat Newtown and um, kind of poked the bear. And that was really, really cool. It got our kids believing in what we're doing um, and really believing in themselves more than anything. Going into it, um, we knew Newtown was going to be a crazy team to beat. And for years, that was always the goal. Even coming into the program, we knew that it was always going to be Newtown. And at regionals, at our region cross meet, we were finally able to beat them by a handful of points. So we knew going into state it was going to be a battle, but we also had the confidence of finally being beating them at regionals. When we got to the region meet, I was just there and I was just running my race. And then going into it, I was running with Caleb Sarsland. It was just me and Caleb in this, at the region meet. I was going, we were pushing together, and we went by our senior leader, Camden and we just kept going and me and Kayla we were having a really good race and he had a little bit of a tough day at regionals Camden did and then when it was just me and Kayla I I made like a move and I was starting moving up and I came in and I finished eighth place as a seventh grader at the region meet and we beat Newtown it was totally insane and we were celebrating and we were just having so much fun. I was the two scorer on our team, just behind Bryant. Bryant got seventh and I got eighth. It was a crazy experience as a seventh grader and I was riding on top of the world. The next week I was definitely humbled. Day two, you know what that means? Two miles on the day. It's gonna be a good day. Two miles on the rip. Then I got my little brother's baseball game to go to. But yeah, focusing on two miles. So we're gonna get a warm up in and it's gonna be great. Standing up, look at what my father does. Turning all things new, gray skies blue. Hear the church say, and won't he do it? I know he's got my bed. That's why I'm singing that. go. It's actually pretty hot out. I think it's high of 84 today and it still feels really hot, but that's all right. Just some easy miles getting the summer started. Well, it's time to go. Nice easy two miles completed. 
it feels good. Body well, felt pretty good. It was a time like, like a half mile into the run. My hips started locking up and I was like, what the heck is going on? But it turned out to be okay. I want to lift tonight. Just don't know really what that's going to look like. Baseball game. I think it's going on right now, so I better get going. But I want to do some strides. We're going to do some strides down this block. Six tries done. Felt pretty good. So fun to go fast. Legs loosened up even more. Feeling great. Time to go watch baseball, then get a lift in. Okay, got the gym to myself now. Was not alone in the beginning, so I couldn't vlog what was going on. Started out with some dumbbell shoulder presses, then went into squatting. And then, now, after that, I would did some seated calf raises, some weighted seated calf raises, and then some hammer curls. And then now, I'm on lat pull down and deadlift. Third and last set of hex bar. Last two things and then I'm out of here. First we got just doing some decline sit-ups with a twist, that should be fun. Kill our own core. Then, gonna take these weights, do some ankle jumps for 30 seconds, and then go into the walking with the lunge on your tippy toes. <laughs> I don't know if I explained that very well. Maybe you can see, see what's going on. And that's all I got, really. No. Not too complicated, get this lift done, go home, go eat, go stretch, and have a treadmill in the morning. <sighs> Love it, see you later. Last set, let's get it. He's always by my side. That's such a killer. Wow. Cows are definitely tired. One more core. I'm out of here. Gosh. I honestly love weightlifting so much. I don't know why, it's just like, so fun. Gym stuff done. Feels pretty good. Abs are definitely dead. It's our calves and quads. Yeah. Feeling pretty good. I like that, I like what just did. It feels like it's gonna get the full body. Gonna be ready to, to put in some mileage. In my running career, I haven't been, I've been blessed to have not too many injuries, especially not none big ones so far. And I guess like I attribute that to, first of all, most importantly, the grace of God, but then Secondly, would probably be to this gym because I've been coming here for since I was a freshman and Justin the personal trainer there. He's just Insane at his job keeping me healthy Putting in the work strengthening me and my weak areas 
just feels good. It's good to put the work in. Man, I just love everything about this sport. Gosh, oh, I'm just I'm just Jacoby training again. Who knows what the tune will be in a few weeks, but man, feeling good. Feeling good. Good morning. Day three, summer training. In session two of treadmill. <sighs> Let's go get it. I actually remembered about him today. That's good. Because <laughs> I texted him for her er, Thomas. Completely <laughs> forgot about that. It's not me. It's alright. Why? I do not know Jonah. Where is he? See, I turned my alarm off at 5, so I had my alarm set at 5. I just shut off and I'll wake up. We'll wake up at 5.30. <laughs> and Jonah was still sleeping. Yeah, I was up at 5.30. Yeah, you only know, you know, have 30 minutes away, so. That's fair. Aww. You look so cozy. Good morning, man. You guys are all treadmills. That's not very nice. Uh, hey man, I was sleeping like seven minutes ago. Good thing we have a warm up. Hey Warner. Good morning. Good morning. Life ain't been the same since death died. Sticky situation. Just gotta ask yourself, what would Jimmy Buffett do? That's it. That's it. Finders. <laughs> 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 
Let's go, Noah. Good. Let's go. Oh. It's five o'clock somewhere. Got it, Jonah? Run. Yeah. Go, 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 go. Come on, Gabe. This long spring is gone. Gabe. Turn over, Gabe. Good boy, Gabe. Good boy. Good, Gabe, good, Gabe! Come on, Jonah! Oh, you have to let go. You like to come here one hand, you just let go. You have to be up to speed before you let go. Come on, Thomas! Come on, Thomas! And off! Come on, Jonah! Good choice. Good, good. Where are we at? You're in this one? Let's go, Rua! And off! Very good! Very good! 17 and a half is your land speed record. You got Thomas? Get up, Thomas! And off! Take that hit! Your left arm is like going to come back here. Try and keep me in. Very good. What were you? talk tonight if anybody else wants to host fun runs we'll get a preliminary schedule together and then we'll just make sure that we all get together so that we get the information okay make some sense okay tonight's run tonight's run does not have to be your furthest fastest hardest of the week okay um when we get together to fun run get together and go run with a group of people okay um old ladies take the young ladies under your wing run with them old guys take the young guys under your wing run with them Okay, um, enjoy the run, enjoy the camaraderie, we'll enjoy the watermelon waters, and, and chat afterwards. Okay, watermelon what questions do you have? Nada. Nada? Okay, adios, you guys can rock and roll. Show them the town loop, show them whatever loop you want to roll on. Let's go. Let's go. Ready? Let's go. 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 Let's go.
Which way are we going? Yeah. Exactly. I'm telling you. What you got? You, uh, what? You want this? What do you have in your hand? Well, you know, I have my new journal and uh, our schedule for the year, you know. Oh, that's cool. Third day of running. How was three, the run? Went three miles. It's pretty easy. Actually, it's on pavement, so it kind of sucks. But, yeah. I'm like, How was your run? One? Nine flat face. I don't know. It's pretty good. Uh, wasn't uh, up to it much good on it. was actually pretty enjoyable until I seen butt cheeks. We weren't up to very much good on it. Yeah, and Gabe, we need to credit Gabe and Thomas, you know, they were Where'd they go? being very inappropriate. Hey, yeah, they didn't stay for it. Yo, where are they going? Oh, probably. Back. I wish Gabe had to go home or two would have been, like, dead. Yeah. <laughs> Bro, why is Bishop and Bo in the vehicle here, but they weren't here? Are they hooping? Are they hiding? It was for me. <laughs> well, it comes to state and things happen, you know, not everyone can always have a perfect day and even if you do, you can try your best and still get outran and that's what happened. We uh we lost by about less than 10 points. And then at the state meet, we, we did not get out well and and we made that fatal mistake one time and we couldn't recover due to the caliber of, of the Newtown program, the pride the Newtown program had. Um, they didn't like getting beat by us at the region meet, I can tell you that right now. And, and those kids responded, and responded well. I was sitting around the bubble of the place at the state meet my seventh grade year, and talking to the coaches, I knew that was something special. And I really wanted it, it was a goal. So I thought if I just stuck on Camden's shoulder, that me and him, we would get to placing. We, I, I wouldn't even say that we were complacent. I don't think that our, our kids have ever been complacent. But um, we didn't get out strong enough that year in 2019. The course had a pretty tight curve in it at the beginning. We kind of got bottled up. We had a senior that year talk to me on the back of the bus at a practice. He was, he was saying how uh, the Bowman team evolved and where they've come from. And... I'll never forget, he told me, there are so many teams in the state that would kill for a second place team, but if we get anything less than first, I don't know what I'm going to do. And seeing his face after that loss was really hard. I was pretty nervous and I wasn't really ready for my first state meet. I had no idea what was going to happen. and. We were pretty nervous because we barely beat Newtown and we knew they were coming. But I didn't really prepare myself looking back. No, I should have. So we get to the line and it's cold and wet in Minot that year and the gun goes off and Camden's take Camden's taking off and I feel like we're going at a really fast pace and there's so many people around us and I'm just a tiny little seventh grader getting overwhelmed by all the people and then like later I realized that we were out in a hundredth place around the first mile mark we got out horrible and we were boxed in but I was I thought we were sitting good because I was just by Camden I was like how is this possible that there's so many people around us when we're supposed to be top 20 so then throughout the next two miles, like we tried to move up the best that we could, but it wasn't enough. In the end, Camden outkicked me and Camden got 22nd and I finished 23rd. And we crossed the line and I could tell from the tears in his eyes that what just happened was not, not good. When we lost in 2019, that was one of the hardest moments I've ever had to feel in sports. Um seeing our seniors who put their heart and soul and six years into the program and have it end on a note like that was just really, really tough. And even though I think that was really, really hard, I don't think you have the Bowman team that you do now if you don't have a moment like that. I'll tell you everything happens for a reason. 
the lessons we learned that day at the state meet in 2019 are one of the reasons that we have not, one of the reasons we race the way we race now at the state meet. And we know in Jamestown, we got a little bit longer time before a hard right, but we know that we're going, we've got to get to that corner. And we learned that lesson the hard way in 2019. So heartbreak, absolutely. Um, looking back on what that year and what those days did to us, um, they taught us lessons. And that's, that's really, I guess, the secret to life. Um, you know, you're going to have things that happen to you that knock you down. Do you learn from them? Do you get up and do you, do you get better? And that, that's probably the thing I'm most proud of our program with is we got knocked down. Um, we didn't sit and sulk. We came back, we learned, we improved. And, and, and that's probably a, a catalyst to the key to the run we're on right now. But that really did set the fire going for the next year. We were so ready to accomplish our mission. So that next year, 2020, we were not going to let that happen again. From day one, June 1st, or whenever it, we all started our training, the vision was clear. We were never going to let that happen to our team again. And we were willing to do whatever it took to get to the top. Good morning and happy day four of summer training. Fun run was really fun last night. Got Justin's right now. So, gonna go with the lift in and we'll be good. Got the lift done. It's a good day. Got some benching in too at the end there. That's rare. That was fun. Now got 20 minutes to get to work. So I'm gonna down a protein shake and be on my way. Good start to a good day. Praise the Lord. <sighs> kind of forgot to vlog this second half of the day. Got done with work around two o'clock around there. And then Noah came over. We started working on the documentary some more. Getting his episode ready. Played a game of 2K. Then he went home. We got church, men's group. And 45 minutes. So I'm going to go for my run right now. Big recovery day today. Four miles. Nice and easy. Body is... Sore, really sore in some areas. That's all right, it means you're getting stronger. So yeah, let's go hit this. Four miles done, and three minutes to go to get to church. Sometimes I amaze even myself at my horrible playing skills. Time management is what I need. Don't tell my girlfriend I'm this late. It's dirty in here. I don't have ever cleaned this car, to be honest. That's icky. What? That's icky. That's not icky. <laughs> you all, can you get me my Gatorade on my cooler? Yes, sir. I'll talk to the camera. See here? Slave. <laughs> what are you about to go do? Lift. Get Got my little lifting buddy here. Yep. We're gonna get big at Justin's. What do you think? Oh, good. Yeah, it's... Day five right now. So that means a five mile run with special guest. 
Aid and honor. How far are you going to go? One. Okay. Yeah. All warmed up nice and ready to go. So. Let's go, I guess. It's pretty hot and humid out today. It hasn't been this hot in this entire summer, so let's see how it goes. And. Oh my gosh. It's hot outside. Hot and humid. And the wind is no help. Watch also died at four miles, so last lost the last mile. I'm so hot, so sweaty. It's actually kind of a battle getting through that run. <sighs> Need some good stat. But yeah, it was good. Day five complete. It is day seven and Father's Day. So today's been a good day. Went to church. We got a burger for lunch, and then now we're at the lake. Just got a carp, but now it's time to go running. It's extremely windy out there. So maybe this run won't be the best, but maybe it will. I'm feeling good. Feeling ready. Six miles on the day, long run. Yeah. She's gonna go get her done. Finish six miles. Hopefully you can hear me. It's not too windy. Got some strides to do now. I'm gonna do this grassy area. Really beautiful. It's really nice, easy six miles. Gosh, so fun. Week one of summer training is officially complete. That's crazy. Already one weekend. Talking with Jonah, we're already planning out week two, so. You know, I right, keep going, just going and going and going. Been reading Jay Johnson's Consistency is the Key book. I reread it. I'm like almost done with it now. For the last third time reading it, it's just like another thing getting you really motivated, and motivated to keep running, keep training. So ready for this cross country season. Yeah. Well, this will be a wrap on week one. Let's finish these strides, so. Yeah, that's pretty cool. See you guys next week, I guess. Week two. Already have a race scheduled out for week two, so you don't want to miss that. See you guys. Love you. Love you.